Today we are going to study something very simple but very interesting called magnetohydrodynamics or MHD just to understand the physics. This is used to make ferry boats go in salt water and things like that just by electric propulsion. Typically you have a DC power supply which will go to two conductive plates aluminium or copper plus and minus. Current will flow between them. Then if we add a strong magnet that current flowing between them will create a fluid flow in addition of water either that way or that way sort of like a jet engine depending on which way the magnet is oriented north and south so to measure this and show you how it works we have our DC power supply over here we have two little aluminium strips conductive strips one has a red wire screwed in there the other a black wire we're going to add some swimming pool water diluted one to five with tap water into here to get a conductive fluid of the right current and here's our neomycin magnet, 80 millimeter, quite strong. We're just going to put that on top of there, and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to see whether a food dye, green food dye, runs that way or that way. And then we're going to turn the magnet over, and we're going to repeat the experiment with the south pole up, and we're going to see whether the food dye goes that way or that way. And that way we can easily measure the physics of magnetohydrodynamics. Now the most common way of doing this experiment is to place a little dish with salt water, maybe pool water diluted one to five with tap water with two aluminium strips plus minus leads so water can flow between them over a permanent neomycin magnet. This one's 80 millimeters. It can be the north pole up or south pole up. We'll try it both ways and see what happens. This is with end pole up. We'll turn the power DC up to 25 volts. About one amp. And let's see if anything's flowing. Look at all the bubbles moving. But we've got to put in some food dye to see what the reliable way is. Let's see what happens with the food dye. The food dye is just pouring out the bottom side of the plate, which means almost all the water is flowing from upper left to bottom right. Okay, now let's turn the magnet over and do it the other way. So it's an S pole up rather than N. Here again now we have pool water diluted about 1 to 5 with tap water to lower the salt a bit. Two aluminium plates with plus minus leads and a DC power supply. And now we're going to put them over an S up magnet rather than N and see which way the die goes. Turn the power on, take it up to 25 volts. And you see the bubbles are rushing from one way to another. Let's put some dye in and see what happens. And now you can see the food dye is going out the upper left hand side, which is exactly the opposite of what it was doing before. Therefore, flipping the polarity of the magnet changes the direction in which the ions in the water want to go. We can also do this with a wire coil electromagnet as well as with a permanent magnet. I put a little piece of plastic here so it won't get wet. We put the aluminium plates with their electrodes on top of it. We turn up to 25 volts DC. We see it bubbling and you can see the, the bubbles are just rushing. And we'll put a little food dye to see what happens. Now you can see the food dye is clearly streaming out one side of the plate, not the other. It's going from upper left to lower right. So the food dye is going one way, the bubbles are going the other way. And let's flip the coil over and see what happens. Okay, now when we flip the electromagnet over so that its magnetism is reversed, the NS poles, we put the aluminium plates on top of it. We turn up to 25 volts. And then you see the bubbles are rushing. And let's see which way the food guy do goes. And now you see the food dye is going the other directions. Instead of going out the bottom right, it's going out the upper left. So by flipping the magnetic field, we've clearly reversed the direction of fluid flow. 
using a DC electromagnet rather than a permanent magnet. Now I would like to show that we could also do this with AC power. Now we have AC power coming out of an isolation transformer into these two aluminium plates. These two little leads there. And below we have a wire coil also with AC power coming into those two leads. Now when I turn the power on you can hear it humming. I'm going to put a little die in there so we can watch to see what happens. Let's turn the power up just a little bit now. And you can see the dies flowing out one side of the plate but not the other. Turn the power up a little more as the bubbles form. It goes from left to right. So the AC power is definitely working. Get about 30 volts. Okay, now we flip the wire coil over. So we get an opposite polarity of the wire coil relative to the electrodes. And we're going to turn it on again. And put a little more dye in this time. And now you see it goes the other way. Very convincing demonstration, isn't it? So we can do both AC and DC. Today, in summary, we have studied the physics of magnetohydrodynamics, which is really very simple. We just have a DC power supply between two conductive plates. Current flows between them. If we add a magnet, that current going over the north or south pole of a magnet will either go that way or that way. So here we have the two plates. We have current going between them like that. Across the plates, red and black. If we put a magnet over it, the, ion, the current ions will either go that way or that way, depending if the magnet is north or south. So we'll go both directions. We've shown that with food dye. We can also do this with a wire coil electromagnet. We can also do, so do it with AC power supply rather than DC. Now this is used industrially for like ferries and salt water. Potentially it could be used for space travel if it was adapted because the ions would just flow out the back. We just were studying the basic physics today and I hope all of you now understand exactly how it works. Thank you very much.